two. Sarah, Marco, Denise, my current students, and Benjamin, my former students, they've skipped their lectures this morning, and my colleague is really pissed off at me. <laughs> well, I'll deal with that tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm the, uh, I'm the Swiss poet, um, even though I write in English. I would have my German translator with me, but uh, he couldn't make it. So um, I thought the plan would be to read a poem by Robert Balzer, um, because my new book is coming out tomorrow, even though I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> And it might not come out tomorrow, um, but I was going to read the, uh, the title poem from the new collection. And then because my undergraduates are here, I thought I would read my undergraduate poems that made it into to this book. Might be a bad idea, but, you know, can you do? Um, I don't have any funny poems, though, so there's not going to be much laughter. This book is about um, linguistic suicide. <coughs> Uh, living in exile for 10 years in the States, which wasn't that pretty. Um, my mother's suicide and finding out that my grandfather, who I thought was a chimney sweeper, uh, turned out to be an SS officer. So, very uplifting stuff. Um, and then I'll read a few from Mass Graves, um, chapbook published by Nice Forks and Spoons. Um, and it's based an excerpt of a new manuscript that I'm writing. <coughs> based on the, uh, again, brutal murder of one of Egon Schiele's um, girl models. So that's the plan. Okay, we'll start with Walter. And that's a title poem. Drückendes Licht. Zwei Bäume stehen im Schnee. Der Himmel, müde des Lichts, zieht heim. Und sonst ist nichts als Schwermut in der Nähe. Und hinter den Bäumen ragen dunkle Häuser hinauf. Jetzt hört man etwas sagen. Jetzt bellen Hunde auf. Nun erscheint der liebe, runde Lampenmond im Haus. Nun geht das Licht wieder aus, als klaffte eine Wunde. Wie klein ist hier das Leben und wie groß das Nichts. Der Himmel, müde des Lichts, hat alles dem Schnee gegeben. Zwei Bäume neigen ihre Köpfe sich zu. Wolken durchziehen die Ruhe der Welt im Reigen. Anyone speak German? Now here's the English translation of Pressive Light. Two trees stand in the snow. The sky, tired of light, moves home, and nothing else but gloom close by. And behind the trees, dark houses tower up. Now you hear something said. Now dogs begin to bay. And the dear round lamp moon appears in the house. And the light goes out again as a wound yawns open. How small life is here and how big nothingness. The sky, tired of light, has given everything to the snow. The two trees bow their heads to each other. <coughs> Clouds cross the world's silence in a circle dance. Okay. So here's my undergraduate work. <coughs> Last visit and supper prior to the invasion, only we knew about. Finally, dessert. He opened the shutters and revealed everything that would cease to matter the next day. Alleys where men were playing another round of chess, accents equally on time and women parading like citrus trees in a market of dates. Pubs, songs, palaces of worship. No, not even the orphanage or his pregnant wife's glutted breasts would matter, my host insisted. I spend my time writing the important, not the beautiful. <coughs> what else can we do? He asked. Continue, I answered, and excused myself. All of it, except my uncleared plate, lemon wheels, and spilled milk. The oldest hands in the world. 
on this chair as I am every morning, waiting for the cappuccino and brioche to arrive, and the girl with the oldest hands in the world, I sense exile is a city reared by eternal artifice. All sweet violence and thought and repetition. Beyond what history has left of this topography, the cup is whiteness, the coffee brown semen. My first sip makes her appear with provender and sandals from behind the insignificant ruins. But for the time being, ruins are eucalyptus trees. And she, not a girl on her way to feed chickens, <coughs> but a face concealed by dripping nets. Dressed in black sails and hair dyed a Roman blonde. The lips of her soul are burning sages, I know. Her name? I don't. Only her hands matter. Laden with brooch scars, they remind me, home is where children sprout in rippled soil, where footsteps are mosaics of possibility. To go on, finish breakfast, read the line that ends in God's breath, again. Unattended fields. Outside, artificial light pools the road nobody died on, with men sauntering the graveyard shift, unafraid to sing alone. I stretch out and find I marry the woman who doesn't care that they have picked up the ambrosial bouquet of sex, neatly wrapped in tissue paper at the foot of our bed. She welcomes the rabbit charge, anything that reminds her she belongs to the faint hinterland. She keeps the doors unlocked. I say nothing. Men or dogs, there will be no other end. Next is guinea pigs. Having accused, executed, bled, skinned, scattered them for the beasts of shore and forest. We shut down the hillside on a black sled. Scared shitless, my brother clutching my boyish waist, knees bent, nose against ribs, not because of what he'd done, speed or father's finger splitting belt, but because he'd forgotten his smile as the creature's bodies went as cold and flat as grandpa's blades used to slaughter Schweine. December never ended without it, them honk, honk, hung like pink whales in a heavy sky, blood-soaked hay, fires readied, ground littered with hoofs. And whenever mother locked another fat back inside, Grossvater, gutting, would say, remember, don't be taking unless you're giving. Smile when you kill. You'll remember when it's your turn. Later, led by mother's suicide notes, I hit upon those meats, tucked away an overcured history of infidelities, marriages, abortions, a box of Walker's pure butter shortbread petticoat tails filled with berpas, battle map, iron cross, photos, grandpa smiling, striking in uniform, strained in Leningrad, deadly between my freshly slit fingers. Escape artist. My mother missed her own funeral. Why or how she did it is a mystery or a fantasy I barely remember. The blow of absence that shut the priest's voice like a child's very first nightmare. The lump of air in my throat I knitted until it became smoke, became breath. Language nestled up against silence. A lunatic sashaying past, grinning. Doesn't anyone know where she is? What can I say? We all missed it and left. Well, no wonder someone muttered on my way past the holy water. She's a suicide, you know, and a whore. Yes, I thought, not even God can create a net without holes. Here's the 
last one for this book. Late December. Clearly, nothing much is happening. Kids continue to wish for snow. The rest for something other than the possible. Something other than the fog. Settling as thorns, frozen, old fences. Winter, in its subtlest arrival, barbs our barriers. Still, no one misses the ordinary, not even the blackbirds, just as no one on either side misses the end of the world. No laughter yet. <laughs> Usually people laugh when I read that first line, a mother missed her own funeral, and then they get quite upset at <laughs> So now we're sort of skipping 10 years. And here's my most recent work. Archipelago or another recession overheard in the park. We wear the poet's uniform because our mothers are dead fishermen on classic thin ice, riddled now that barbarians have dropped their fabled blows against our singular ideogram. A schoolgirl a school girl, a school girl is hiding behind. Apocryphal, apocryphal translations, more credible than our roaring salutes to helicopters like Skylarks. Slapstick age. And the disciple mimes delivering a set of keys. And this is where he crashed, isn't it? His face there is mine, built in 1843 and white before black milk. The transitions and the riots only gulls remember and bicker and dance some water damage. Odd feature unlocked and space now of loose wallpaper, our morning's final additions. And fresh fat boils in the kitchen, already nothing. And nothing is sweeter than a future, a red door with three locks and a loose chain. Low voice confessions, poem for three or more voices. A city, with more streets hanging in the abyss, somewhere south, and a black donkey buried in its, pub, in its public park for years of service, years as a friend. Yes, but we mustn't blame the children, they demanded it. Blame the two greatest painters of the 20th century who weren't even 40 when Columbus discovered America. One classic, eternal. The other, modern, always like a pile of shit. The snail climbs the stop. A moment later past the city walls. Dirt road to a neighborhood of silos. And irrigation ditches, not asylums or prisons. Someone has written paradox on one of the silos, we think. Or perhaps it is more accurate to say someone has whispered it into the ground. Not far from another ditch. Not far from another tasteful confession. He likes to bite and pluck their nipples like a bass guitar. The children are listening. Black donkeys are German motorcycles. We learn to lower our voices and ignore the almost visible. As we grow up. As we realize the snail, a sniper climbing a silo, the painters are prepared to testify. Eating things alive, that's what we do. Blame the detective. Exhibit number 1C. Something mute steps out of a neighborhood. Two more. Vaudeville. See the butcher's son lose faith in his knives. See the worn dock line chafe against the pier. See the scholar drag her desk into the woods. See the finger cramp the penultimate etude. See the grocer highlight his name on the front page. See the truant child decide on a different shortcut. See the seamstress enter the building for the last time. See the survivor hesitate before a shop window. See the common meddler drop of its own accord. 
see once again the knives in the porcelain sink. And the last one. We'll go dancing, we'll be safe. This has a bit of Swiss German in it. And some German. Chamiu funiene nana. You wanted to go so fast, in den Kronen, a muscular contraction. Listen, it takes three beggars. Das is mein Satz, being, in den Kronen, in this strange and marvelous state. Seed keiner, denkt keiner, in its other logic, turns immense. Whether they give us back our megaphones or not, in den Kronen, was steht in den Kronen. Listen, ich habe keinen anderen. Four in the morning, their tons, how will it look? Listen, in den Kronen, with your escape mechanism, you whisper, listen, das ist mein Satz. Others move to stop, what do you want? This is my sentence. No one sees, someone thinks, strange and marvelous, a nurse's nose, ah, there from Kronen, turns immense. Listen, another stone, more prizes to be won. Instantly the hair grows back, in den Kronen, Mechanism, ein fremdes Wundenmal. But what about the flesh, this calked, their tanz? Don't whisper, we should say, listen, it is as we think. Seed keiner, denkt keiner, a muscular contraction. This is your sentence. Chamiu von Ihnenanne, didn't stay still, dein Wundenmal. Now everyone whispers, in its other logic, you're doing it right. Listen, a sentence is, you whisper. You wanted to go so fast, strange and marvelous, in den Kronen, was steht in den Kronen, give us back our megaphones. Thank you.